Hi, my name is David Mia, also known as 3D DIY Dave on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. So I have been working with Shining 3D for the last year, learning to 3D scan and exploring ideas that can be beneficial for makers. I was honored when Shining 3D reached out to me to see if I wanted to be one of the first to use the new Einstar scanner and put it through its paces. So let's take a look at the new scanner. The new Einstar is a compact handheld scanner that uses three cameras and three groups of VCSEL lasers, a color camera to capture color detail with a wide field of view for scanning quickly and smoothly. I found that the compact camera and lightweight body is much easier to use and scan for longer periods of time. It also is more ergonomic and easier to manipulate around objects. Over the last year, I have used 3D scanning to replicate things that were difficult to model into 3D design. I have also used 3D scanning to document and digitize one-of-a-kind art, like the ones shown here from the late Jack Squire. The new Einstar scanner is perfect for this project. Cameras and built-in lasers allow me to scan people quickly, which is essential when people are just freestanding. Movement is always a concern, so scanning quickly allows people to be comfortable as well as be able to stand in dynamic poses. Another challenge with scanning people is hair detail and overall shape of hair. Einstar does an amazing job capturing hair at all detail levels. There are also additional settings to the hair for the new dedicated Einstar software. The scanner also uses infrared to scan people in all kinds of lighting conditions, including outdoors. After a few months of working with Einstar, it still impresses me with what it's capable of scanning from large scans like people down to very small objects. I hope you guys get a chance to explore the world of 3D scanning with Shining 3D. If you'd like to ask me any questions uh, about Einstar, 3D printing, 3D scanning, DM me on all my social media platforms. Thanks for watching.